This is what $50 can get you in Boston, Massachusetts. What's up? My name is Ricky and I'm from the Boston area. I spent a lot of time making videos here in the city and today I wanted to share a little bit of the East Coast with you. Now there's so much things to do here in the city between places to eat, things to look at, and tons of history. So I wanted to keep it practical and affordable by only using $50 here in the city. Kind of got a feeling that this is going to be hard. All right, so let's head to my first favorite spot. Every time I come into the city, I love to grab me a nice bagel. Got my bagel. It was packed in there. All right, so I got a bagel and I got a water and it came out to $9.49, leaving me with $40.51. Now this place is called Better Bagels. It's one of my favorite bagel spots here in the city. I usually get an everything bagel with cream cheese. Now don't go to Dunkin's or Starbucks and get a crusty moldy bagel. You gotta get a nice toasted with the fluffy inside bagel. All right, first bite. Look at that cream cheese. Mmm. So good. I don't know if I have cream cheese on my face. <laughs> Better bagels reminds me of Zucker's out in New York City. It's like they almost have the same consistency. I love bagels. Now, like I said, there's so many places here in Boston, but I'm gonna actually show you guys where I go on a consistent basis. So after I grab my bagel, I like to come over here. This is called Fan Pier. And this is where I just relax and brainstorm ideas for videos. In the summertime, it's so beautiful here. All these trees are grown in and everyone's walking around and some of the best sunsets are over here. Now obviously this spot is free. It's open to the public 24-7. Real quick, I want to talk about transportation. I ride a skateboard through the city, and for me, it's free, and I can go through the city within minutes. But if you guys can't ride a skateboard, I highly recommend using a blue bike, the subway, or the bus. You could use an Uber or a taxi, but those get expensive throughout the day. All right, it's currently 2.03 here in the afternoon. I made it to the next destination. I'm at Soa Vintage Market here in Boston. They have a bunch of vintage items like shirts and little knickknacks and just personal goods. I'm on the hunt for a little camera, like a little nostalgic camera. Hopefully it's like 15 bucks, either broken or not. That way I can just hang it up on my wall. Let's go inside and see what they got. No luck. So cool in there. I really wanted that Mac, but that's way out of the budget for today's video. Ugh. Be so cool to have one of those in your room, but I'm getting kind of hungry. So let's go get some dinner, lunch. I'm like in between, it's like three o'clock right now. Now, if I was doing like a thousand dollars to spend in a day, I'd definitely buy that Mac. <laughs> Be so sick. Still having a good day with not really spending much money. All right, I made it to the next spot. I've been feeling pizza for a while now, so trying a new spot here in the North End and it's called Arena's. All right, I went with the classic regular cheese pizza. It's thin sliced. My first time ever trying this, so let's give it a whirl. 
That's pretty solid. It's fluffy for being thin. The dough's nice and soft. It's not like too hard and bricky. I'm a huge pizza advocate and I probably give this out of 10 a solid 8.5. It's not like, oh my God, it's crazy, but it's really good. I'm gonna try a bite of the crust. Crispy and soft at the same time. Pretty good. Now, this came in at $4, but I gave the guy a dollar tip, so minus five from my $40. I'm left with $35.51. Pretty thirsty, so let's go grab a drink. Now, if you just want a quick slice, you don't have to wait in line, just grab and go. Cheap, easy, and simple. So I just went to a 7-Eleven and they had Prime. First time ever trying the ice pop. Let's give it a whirl. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really solid, especially when you're thirsty from pizza. It's a good combo. So far I had the blueberry one and the blueberry energy, and I think this is the best flavor out of all of them I had so far. I wanna make a video of like trying all the flavors. Let me know down in the comments if you wanna see that. Got the receipts. This was $6.38. So let's put that in the calculator. I have $29 left and 13 cents. McLaren, it's been getting dark out later now and I'm loving it. Summer's coming. All right, I made it to the next destination. I wanted something sweet, so I decided to come to one of my favorite bakeries here in the North End, and that's called Bovis. All right, just came back from Bovis Bakery. I asked the owner if I could film in there, and she was camera shy, so she said no. You gotta respect it. So I got a piece of chocolate cake for my girlfriend and a Nutella cannoli, and it came up to be $10.40, so let's do the math. Minus $10.40, $18.73 is what I have left. All right, so I definitely can't fit the Nutella cannoli. After that prime and pizza and the water, I'm like stuffed. But if you guys love Nutella, definitely get that. It's a perfect blend between ricotta and Nutella. So good. Now I have $18 left and I don't really know what to do with the $18, so I'm just gonna end it off here. If you guys like these challenges, let me know. That way I can make more of these. I can do like $100, a $500 one, or even a $1,000 one. I'm still experimenting with this channel, so let me know down in the comments down below. Anyways, this is Ricky, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.